are so light, those yeah. planes. Very light. Do planes? I, I don't doubt think it. So. I don't think so. They just I don't have think that, so. Because they're not, they're they're not really prepared for a collision yeah. right? <laughs> Probably not. No. I mean, those cockpits are so tiny. Have you? Yeah. I mean, yeah. just like this. Yeah. <laughs> I've yeah. never seen anything well, like that. I know. It's really quite scary, actually. Ooh, it was. Not I'm ready to hear the rest of that story as to what the heck happened there. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, I mean, they overshot the runway. I'm sure there are multiple things could have happened, but um, geez. I mean, and why didn't the car stop? Glad because everybody's not okay. You're not expecting you're a plane. You're probably right. You're just driving along, and yeah. then there's yeah. a plane in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh. All right. All right, you guys. Well, be safe out <laughs> there today. Keep an eye on anything crossing the road, um, and we'll keep it going. Yep. Here's a look at what is happening today. For well, we are here with you through the mid-morning hours to get you ready for the big events in your neighborhood today. And that's right. The Weather Channel has you covered from coast to coast. Lots ongoing out there. Lots of yucky weather in, in, in place as well, particularly when you start talking about the Gulf Coast. Yeah. Although, I'm not sure there's too much complaining going on because we, we need it. We need the rain, and, you know, I, I'm not sure there's any complaining actually happening because you, and I talked to someone yesterday in the Florida Panhandle, and she's like, oh, it's raining. I'm like, but you kind of need the rain. She's like, yeah, actually, we, ha we haven't had go. rain for about a month. I'm like, see? And yeah. all of a sudden, her opinion changed, yep. you know? I so um, I think this is actually welcome news right here. And the same thing in California. Uh, let's see where we're at, though. It's in the 50s and raining. It could, it could be <laughs> no, a little yeah, better. We could maybe warm it up a notch, just <laughs> yeah. a notch. <laughs> All right, well, today's a big deal. you got to buckle up. Temps are speaking in Florida. Yeah. It was hot and it was dry. Now, of course, you see a return to rain here. So we won't see the above average temperatures in Florida, but we will across the north. We've got this big ridge of high pressure controlling so much of our weather around the Great Lakes. The upper Midwest, the northern plains continues into Thursday with 185 million people above average. And then into Friday, we're going to see still across the northern plains, parts of the west, but the north Northeast now gets in on more of that above average uh, weather here, temperatures anyway. Now, so the Arctic air, I mean, it's up there, but it's very limited and it's very far north. You're just not tapping into it. The northern branch of the jet stream is not really taking much of a dive, so we don't see it across the lower 48 or, to be honest, across Canada either. We're going to see temperatures running above average by at least 10 to 15 degrees. And as we get you into the next uh, two days here, watch those numbers go up a little bit for some. Kansas City, how about 69 degrees today? Oh, Oklahoma City will be about 70. We see the warmth in Wisconsin, in Michigan as we get you into the end of the week. Pennsylvania, New York State, all through New England, we're going above average, at least a little bit as we look ahead to the end of the week forecast. Thursday in Minneapolis, we're in the 60s. Uh, Chicago, we're going to be in the 60s as well. Now you can see a little bit of, a, I'm going to put a cool down in quotes because we're back down to about 40 in Bismarck or 47 in Rapid City and you know, that's really not too far from average. So it's not like you're, you're cooling down with Arctic air coming in. That's just not to be found. Temps on Friday into nearly 70 in D.C. We'll be in the 70s in North Carolina like around Raleigh here and the above average conditions continue into the weekend. So not a lot of change in this. It's been what was a warm October? The yeah. warmest actually and, and now November is uh, you know, overall looking pretty mild. I know. I was looking at finding where the cold is. You got to go way north to find yeah. it. Yep. And it does look like it's one trying to get down here anytime soon. Not in the next week, but yeah. maybe shortly after. Well, breaking news this morning involving the state of the environment. Scientists warning that the effects of rising temperatures are already worsening across every region of the U.S. Uh, that's according to the newly released National Climate Assessment Report. Yeah, and the extensive report released every five years paints a dire picture of what the country is expected to face. Now, following the report's release, President Biden announced his administration will be spending more than $6 billion in investments to make communities across the country more resilient to the impacts of climate change. That includes strengthening our aging electric grid infrastructure and working to reduce flood risks. Speaking of the economic risks, I remember I worked in the uh, weather and uh, the economic losses would be much more severe. Yeah, I mean, as we just heard, it you know, climate change makes life more expensive. Yes, oh, yeah. billion dollar disasters. Yeah, yeah, and of course, to try to mitigate, is getting into that to help to help communities deal with this because it's happening, and you got you got to deal with it. Yeah. Well, for more on the national climate assessment, you can make it a little earlier. That makes the the the, the time in the uh, airport a lot a lot smoother. But I didn't most know what... times we can't because there are other factors like, oh, you can't find a parking space. <laughs> Alex, experience Yes, this I one? do have a story. How about yeah. checking your baggage? <laughs> oh, you're checking bags. <laughs> we could have an hour on this, so we, oh, I, won't, I won't go there. But uh, we want to hear from you. Head to X Threads as well. Share your comments. You can vote. Winter storms, they can knock out power for days, and many rely on appliances like portable generators for power and heat. But 
if not used correctly, can cause accidental carbon monoxide poisoning, which claims hundreds of lives each year. I talked with home a safety expert Ashley Agokin from First Alert about staying safe when the power goes out. You're aware where the rain is falling right now. It's spread down into the Bay Area in California. We've got showers out there. Not quite yet at San Francisco, but north of there. And certainly up towards Ukiah and Eureka. It's yeah, raining. It is a bit of a soggy start to things here for our Tuesday. And again, we'll eventually see some of this kind of filling a bit farther on off towards the south. There's the big low hanging out there well out there into the Pacific. It's going to take its time as it works its way east and around that. We'll see disturbances helping to kind of kick off some of this wet weather that we are expected for the rest of this week. Yeah, you kind of see a couple of lows out there. One over here, another one over here. So, you know, it's a complicated system and that's why we have such an unsettled pattern for the rest of the week, but none of this really pushes on shore in one full swoop. Yeah, we don't have this big in mass thing just driving on in. Disturbances again coming on through and each of these again with the moisture coming in from the Pacific going to add to that threat for some of the rain. And again, as you start to move into the higher terrain there of the Sierra, yeah, there'll be some snow as well. All right, so rain today, you see where it is. We're going to be watching that through the afternoon hours into Wednesday too, even here. A lot of it Northern California, a lot of it hanging offshore. Yeah. Again, there's no big push. There's just such a strong high pressure blocking everything. Exactly. And so where that's located is going to keep it at bay for a bit. Now, eventually now you can see it was getting our Wednesday. We see a bit of a push of, of that moisture coming on in. But again, the whole bowling ball still has mm -hmm. not made its way in. It's still hanging around out there slowly inching eastbound. Yeah, I mean, we get more chances of rain. It kind of gives us some options all week to get some rain chances. We see that on Saturday. The morning might be a wet one here up, up and down the entire West Coast. Yeah, absolutely. And then watch heading up into the Sierra because there will be some snow showing up there again. The highest of the elevations getting into that and notice the rainfall amounts not huge. I think the highest that we could see here is generally in the one to two inch range. And when it comes to snowfall, eight to 12, but really high up in elevation, probably not that much even affecting a pass level. Well, a long stretch of wet mm -hmm. you see the sun. Yeah, you just get excited. And yeah. I think that a lot of folks in the Gulf Coast are feeling that right. right. Now. I mean, this is where change is good. I love that music in the background. Can you keep that going, by the way? That was really soothing. Well set up for that story. Yes, in the rain. It was so nice to see the raindrops on the lens of the New Orleans camera. Mm -hmm. This is good. Something we haven't it. seen a lot of. Yeah, and we're going to get more of it, guys. We're going to see this. That's perfect. <laughs> Listen to this. Yeah, we're going to continue to see the rain themes move into Florida mm -hmm. and much of the southeast over the coming days. Thank yeah. you very much. Let's have a look at the current. On here, get you some timing on planning your day because it no, won't necessarily rain every moment of the day for all of us. Right, exactly. So we'll start off here basically looking in on the panhandle. You got Destin in there, Panama City as well for the morning hours into the afternoon, kind of dealing with some of the rain coming in kind of in waves here for you. So there'll be some breaks in the action. It's not just going to be completely steady but some breaks mm -hmm. at times, uh, and at times it picks up in intensity as well. It's a pretty rainy day here, though. Hard yeah. to get anything done outside. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this is so, not a day to, yeah. uh, for the outdoor activities by any stretch. Tomorrow, too, to be quite honest. Yeah, a couple days. <laughs> it's a string of them, yeah. no doubt. In fact, could yeah. see it more intense as we head through the day uh, for tomorrow. Look at how that adds up. Three, four inches of rain that comes in here for us over this next a couple of days. So that's a, a soaking, soaking, soaking time uh, here for us around Destin. Now let's uh, jump down into Miami and here we'll have a little more breaks in terms of the rainfall. So we've got scattered showers out there early on, increasing throughout the afternoon. Again, that east wind guiding those showers through. Yeah, you can see that generally filling in a bit more, heading into your Wednesday lunchtime hour there for us, heading along Alligator Alley. Going to be a wet ride there, continuing into at least our early part of our Thursday morning, still having to deal with some of that rain. And again, at times, could be heavy. And we add up. I mean, it, dew points are actually a little higher down here, so there's a little more moisture in the atmosphere to work with. Looking at three to four inches of rain, some of that coming down heavy. You worry about urban flooding and, you know, Oh, yeah. a situation like this when you get into this bigger rainfall rates. And a risk we'll find ourselves dealing with there. Then we work our way over towards uh, Tallahassee. You got the Big Bend area as well where we'll see the rain intensity kind of picking up a bit more here during the overnight hours and into our Wednesday. And so, yeah, just be ready for more gray skies and that rain to be around. I think umbrellas will be up in full force. Yeah. Um, but let's show you how temperatures warm up across really a lot of the country here. Uh, it's going to be confined to the northern plains, the upper Midwest here, the middle of the country for today. But it kind of expands a little more by Thursday and Friday. It, it does. Absolutely. No doubt about it, because we start to introduce some of those bigger cities in the east that get uh, in uh, some of this action. So, yeah, a lot of folks going to be dealing with uh, mild conditions over the next several days. So we're asking, OK, where is that cold? Well, you can see it is kind of bottled way to the north. Any kind of cold that we have out there well north of the border there, that's where you have to find it. 
and trying to get it here into mm -hmm. the states. No, not happening this week. The jet stream is just so far north here. That cold air not coming down. It's warm in Canada too. And so yeah, we're running above average. That puts our temperatures in the 60s in Minneapolis. You're in the 60s in Chicago. I mean, we're still in the 70s in Oklahoma City. Yeah, pretty wild. So as we progress into uh, basically for the rest of the day and moving into the latter part of the week, you can see how things begin to shift a little bit farther to the east. That ridge builds in that direction. And so those areas from the Great Lakes and into the northeast, you will find your numbers going in the up direction. On Friday, we see it in the Northeast with temperatures in Boston in the mid 60s. New York City will be mild as well. Throughout Pennsylvania, actually above average. Virginia too. Raleigh, 71 degrees. We're still in the mid 70s in Charleston. Yeah, so getting closer to Turkey Day, not necessarily feeling like it. Now, here's a look at Minneapolis because there is going to be a drop in the temperatures, but the drop is happening and only taking us to kind of where we should be. Average. Yeah, we go from the 60s to the, the 40s. Big drop, but but That's still just... actually above average. <laughs> exactly. I mean, technically. Omaha, Nebraska, same kind of thing. You know, our average is 51. So that 53 on Friday is still a little bit above average. Yeah, amazing. Well, don't forget our question of the day. Slowing down as well as you head out and about. Here's what we got across the northeast. And you can see what we've dealt with here, driving in kind of out of the northwest, then driving to the southeast. Very, very light precipitation. Uh, but again, it doesn't take a whole lot when those roadways get a little bit on the colder side to kind of freeze up and there's some slick spots here and there. So. Just take it easy. We'll eventually warm up as we work our way through the late morning and the, the afternoon. Uh, but for now, the next hour or so, yeah. I would certainly be uh, cautious. I mean, not all of this is even reaching the ground, yeah. but it's just so light here, and that's really what catches you off guard. Temperatures are sub-freezing. Now, we have rain that's pretty obviously falling very heavily across parts of the south, including along the I-10 corridor, New Orleans, all the way to Tallahassee, really eventually Jacksonville, it's going to be a wet ride today. Oh yeah, that 10 quarter, 20, I think will be okay. Otherwise, here we are into the Sunshine State. Uh, Jen talked about Tallahassee, but Jacksonville gets on it as well as the peninsula seeing some of that rain. Tampa over towards Orlando, the fourth corridor, sliding southbound again. Then some of the rain at times it could be on the, on the heavy side and also breezy conditions. Some gusty winds expected. Yeah, Tampa's an interesting one because the, the showers are tracking in at low levels from the east, mm -hmm. east to west. And then we've got this big batch of rain over here of the Gulf here, and that's making its way towards Tampa as well. It might be all day until it actually gets there. Yeah, so yeah, yeah uh, check out the airports because uh, this is certainly going to be a day to check with the airlines. It's a spot like New Orleans if you're flying in and out out of there and across some of the airports here in the hubs in Florida. I don't think it'll be major issues, but just to be safe, check with the airlines. Yeah, yeah. It's been, again, been a while since we've had rain. Uh, then we take it out to the West Coast where we've got rain here today as well, especially north of the Bay Area, up through Northern California, part to Southern Oregon, missing all the big airports. So we'll do pretty good. Yeah, that's a good sign there. All right, how about tomorrow now? We start to march our way now into the mid part of our week. West Coast, that's the zone that could be seeing some slowdowns showing up there. And then also into parts of the Southeast. Those will be the two kind of spots for tomorrow to watch out for some delays. Yeah, you know, so it's uh, not a terrible, terrible day, but there definitely are some weather concerns here. And certainly as we get towards the weekend, a lot more travelers heading to the airports here, complicating things for you. Most travelers by car, 49.1 million, but 4.7 by plane, and that's up 6.6%. And you'll have some train buses and cruise uh, ship uh, riders as well. That's up by 11% out there. So yeah, a lot of folks getting out and about. We did the poll yesterday mm -hmm. asking how are you getting to your destinations for the Thanksgiving and it bears out most people going by most car. Most people by car. We should have had an option just staying home. Yeah, it seems like yeah. a, a lot of a lot of folks are. Uh, but you're still probably driving somewhere by car, right? Mm -hmm. um, we were uh, your travel this week here in terms of uh, gas prices uh, below average or near average here across a lot of the middle of the country, but it, the West mm -hmm. well above average. Yeah, it's a tough time. We're talking some of the gas prices there. That's a range of that dark shade of the the red, three sixty one to five dollars. Wow, that's uh, pretty intense when it comes to gas prices there. So uh, if you are driving, just know you may be uh, costing a, a bit out there for some of those areas uh, on the West Coast. Well, you can plan your trips with the DWC Street. Thanks for playing along today. Appreciate your comments. And uh, when about the poll still open for a few hours more. Yeah, I'll till tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. it's true, which is um, when your team is in a big game, that's close. It can be tough. Blood pressure definitely goes up when it gets a when it's a tight game, but um, I have to go with the TSA. I'm kind of lumping going through the TSA line as just very very stressful, especially if you're kind of running late. Yeah. Well, you missed two flights once in a row. I think that really put me over the edge. <laughs> I was fine with flying until that experience. Now Over I'm like, parking, oh my goodness, I never, if I never have to fly again.
from people climbing your house. I don't know. It's like, okay, okay, what if I did get up there? Yeah. What am I doing? I can't dance around up there like they did. I'm just going to be frozen. So there's no point in being Frozen in fear. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Your day's probably not going to be quite as exciting. Uh, but no, we, we do have some exciting weather to tell you about here. And really watching from coast to coast, some changes. A little rain coming into California. Mm -hmm. South, uh, we've got rain along the Gulf Coast. And this is something we haven't been able to say uh, for a long time. I mean, this picture here, we should take a framed picture of this because <laughs> right. we just haven't seen a whole yeah. lot of it. Can we preserve this like through the, well, much of the rest of the winter? Because we need a lot yeah. more of it to really make yeah. a dent in the drought, don't we? Yes, you know, we're not, we're not going to erase the drought. Right. We need, we're like 28 inches behind yeah. plus in New Orleans. So, and that really, that's the case across a lot of Louisiana, Mississippi, mm -hmm. but spots further north and it's getting the rain. Right. Yeah. And Alex, you know, you're going to be looking at part of the system now over the northern Gulf, uh, which is going to bring rain over the next couple of days. And then after you're done, I'm going to talk about what's happening just east of Florida in association with this very same system. Yeah, absolutely. So rain, rain, it is around for yeah, uh, quite a few folks. Let's detail the areas here right along the Gulf Coast. First and foremost, where you can pick it out here when we look at the, what's going on here on the water vapor imagery, look at the moisture.